it's time to explore what is postman now as you can see postman is a tool here which is an app of google chrome again uh, for firefox also we do have this type of tools so i'm using postman here watch for chrome now you might be thinking what's the advantage of this so what i will do is i will just copy this link and let me just post i mean paste that in postman and as you can see if i say okay where is that oh we already got the uh, uh, paste i've copied the wrong link or what okay we'll say copy and let's say delete this part and paste as you can see i'm copying the list at the moment i say click on send you got your response right so the same response which you got on the client uh, on the browser you got the same response here now you might be thinking what's new in this we can do that in, on, on, on browser as well right why you have to install a separate app it's because if you expand this list you can see we can send multiple requests we can send a get request we can send a post request we can send put request, patch, delete, copy. So we can use all these options of HTTP, which is not possible in browser. In browser, we normally use get and post only, right? Otherwise, uh, if you want to use extra two features like put and delete, which we are going to see in this course, of course, we need some client, right? Again, we can create our own client. If you, uh, if you want to explore that, we can create our own Java client, but then we don't want to do that as of now. We are focusing on uh, inbuilt tool. So we got a postman where you can send the request. If you want to send a post request, just so simply click on post and say send. You don't even change, you, do, you don't have to touch the URL. If you want to do that, you can, but then not required. So you can, you can fetch data in JSON format. You can fetch data in XML format the way you want, right? But then how do we, how do you find this tool and where to, from where to download this? So to download this, what it does, you have to go to Chrome and you have to open a new window and what I will do here is in this Chrome, you can see when you open a new tab, there's an option of apps. So you have to click on this apps and okay, from there, if you don't find Postman here, you have to create a new, you have to click on this web resource. And in this web resource, you have to search for which app you want. Again, if you simply search for a REST client, there are multiple apps available. As you can see, if I search for this, I don't know how many, uh, how many options we'll be getting now. You can see we have lots of REST client available. We have yet, yet another REST client. Okay, we can we, we can try this all these things which is available, but then we'll be using Postman. So we'll say search for Postman, search for this, and okay. So this is the uh, not this one, this one. So this is the app. So we don't have to focus on extension. We have to focus on apps. So in this apps, this is the Postman. This is how it looks like. So I have already added into the Chrome. So you have to click on this add to Chrome where you will get the option and you, you have to click on that. And you can see how many reviews we have for this. It's 8,286 reviews, right? This is a very, very, very famous uh, client. It's not just uh, which I prefer. There are lots of people they do prefer this type of this client here. So if I click on this, there are lots of description available. You can read it out if you want. And you can also read the terms and conditions if you want. But then once you install this, your postman will be up and running. I guess you have to restart your... Uh, you have to restart your uh, browser if you after installing this. Uh, it will it will notify that. But then after doing that, when you open when you open your uh, Postman, this is how it looks like, and how to use this. So you will you will understand how to use this in the entire course. But then if you to just to go go for a quick glimpse, you have to select on this get request, paste your URL here, and click on send. It will send a, a, a get request. If you want to send a post request, just click on this post and then you, when you click on this uh, send, you will it will send a post request. But then when you send a post request, you have to also send the data, right? How do you send a data here to the server? In that scenario, we ask, we have to specify the body. Now inside this body, you can enter your key value pair, whatever data you want to send, or you can type your own XML or uh, you can you can you can type your XML or JSON format. You can if you want if you are sending XML, click on XML and type XML. If you are sending JSON, type JSON and you can send it. So this is how you can use Postman. And so, it, so once we understood how to use Postman, how to install Postman, in the next video we'll see how do we send that data to the server so that uh, this this method will be called. Okay, so that's it from this video, guys. We, uh, I hope you understood about the Postman. Uh, we'll talk about this thing in the next video. That's it. Thank you so much for watching.